it's the whole philosophical framework yes. that is causing people to think about this in a way where their 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 focus is we got to get rid of fossil fuels. We got to stop impacting the climate. And my view is that is like they don't understand the fundamental how fossil fuels improve the world so dramatically. And it's because their moral focus is on not in the, the view that the ideal is an unimpacted planet. So we should be green. We should minimize our impact. And so there's it's a real it's a moral view that if we're impacting climate, that's wrong. And then there's this practical rationalization that oh yeah, if we impact it, it's gonna invariably destroy us, like nature is going to bite us back. But I'm saying if you look at the history of the earth, there's no reason to believe that. What you could believe is, yeah, some discrete challenges like storms and the sea levels is the most plausible uh, because that would, because you have all sorts of coast, we, we build stuff near the coast for very good reasons. Uh, but you have places all, you have a hundred, over, I think it's 110 million people already live below sea level yep. in the world. You have the Netherlands. I know. And, and then when you start to get into the science, then you really get angry because you take the UN, which has a history of over projecting these things. And they're talking about if we get rid of, if we, um, you know, if we keep using fossil fuels without restriction, sea levels are going to rise three feet in the next 80 or 100 years. Like that's a high scenario. But then they say if we don't, they're going to rise. 18 inches, they're going to rise a foot and a half. So it's like, you're going to shut down all fossil fuels to save when a did, foot and a half of sea level and, rise. And when did, uh, and when did the Netherlands build a dike? Well, the, I mean, it, they, they've modernized, but hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So, so the technology has existed for a long time and the technology should be like a thousand times better. And, and imagine if you focused on fuels. it. Yeah. Ima you yeah. On and it. imagine if you, I mean, part of what fossil, part of what machine labor does is it frees up time for human innovation. And now, of course, we have machine mental labor too, which is great. So we have human mental labor plus, you know, AI machine learning. So the idea that, oh, we can't handle, like we're talking about, we're not talking about feet per decade, right? We're talking about a few feet per century, maybe no, we're talking about inches. So there's just, it's all a more, I just, the more I study the science, the more I realize it's just a, it's just an issue of philosophical framework because people think it's wrong to impact nature. They hear we're impacting climate. They assume that nature is a delicate nurturer, that any impact is going to destroy the delicate balance. And so they just believe all these things. And they, then they fall for things like the great reset, which is basically saying, let's get rid of the thing that sustains everyone who's prosperous in civilization and that everyone who's not prosperous needs. And then particularly what's revealing, if you look at some of these great reset things, when they talk about alternatives, how often do they talk about nuclear? Yeah, never. Never. So before we get to that, before we get to that. Okay. So part of this nature biting back, because I think that's so key is this view of nature. Um, I mean, a lot of, I think part of what makes the great reset acceptable to people is that they view COVID as nature biting back, right? So COVID is the consequence of globalization and capitalism mm -hmm. and movements and all this stuff and, and China advancing and the wall of China in the, in the world. And they, this idea that nature gets back at you is so prevalent out there as a, as a philosophical, as a philosophical idea. I mean, have they ever heard of the plague? Like pre-capitalism? I know, but even the plague you can blame on, you know, people started leaving the farms and going into these towns and cities and, you know, congestion, conge congestion is bad. But yes, of course, people have been wiped out throughout history. Uh, and and but, 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 like, once you'll always, you know, during the plague, by the way, what was the idea of nature biting back? The idea of nature biting back was they weren't following, this was God, right? They weren't following God's law closely enough. So, right. so God bit back and God, nature, it, it's, it's- an That's exactly the- Yes. That's exactly the parallel. So That's it is It is up. a hell, I mean, global warming in particular is a hell narrative. So it's yes. saying you and did the, you, narrative. yeah, you violated, you violated, like you're this evil, what I call like a parasite polluter by nature. All of your impacts, you're either plundering resources from the earth or you're making it ugly uh, and dirty, right? And so your obligation is you need to minimize your impact. You, you need to act on the ideal of an unimpacted planet, minimize your impact as much as possible, be green. And if you don't, if you impact the planet, then you're going to get punished and it's you're literally going to hell. The whole earth is going to warm up and it's going to be uninhabitable, but it's really, you violated the commandment, thou shalt not impact. And then you went to hell. But yep. just the reason I bring up the plague and these other things is part of our job as 
people who have a better philosophy is to just give people the concretes to get, to show them how the world actually works. And, and in these environmental issues, what's never shown is what our environment is like for human beings, absent, we can call industrial civilization or absent what I call you know, machine labor civilization. That just should be showcased all the time. What, because nature bites back. What did nature do in the first place? It didn't feed us and it bit us all the time. It what we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support, or on Patreon, or Subscribestar, or Locals, uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value, hopefully, you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.